I mean, it's just totally rusted out. It's totally solid. It won't do anything. They've been punched through or something. No, no, it's stuck. So guys, today we're back on Ruby, the 240 wagon. And today it's all about latches and locks because this thing, none of them work. Uh, I need to put barrels in the front doors because both barrels are, well, I, I don't know what's going on with them there. They've been punched through or something. I hope it's not stolen, but you know, we'll find that out when we go to register it. Uh, the bonnet latch doesn't work. That was because it wouldn't, why wouldn't it work again? I've managed to, I've freed that part off already. I'll show you what I did, but it's so long ago and so much has happened. I can't actually remember. Um, yeah, trash YouTuber. Um, yeah, so, and then lastly, but of course, by no means least, Lee, we have to do the, the trunk as well, because look at that. I mean, it's just totally rusted out. It's totally solid. It won't do anything. And actually this handle is, is kind of loose as well. I think where someone's tried to pull on it, definitely not me. And it's obviously seized there, so it's actually started to move. It moves, but it's it's quite flimsy metal in there, and it's actually just twisted, and it's sort of bending and moving around. So, yeah, not good. So we need to take that out to get it replaced. Quite easy, really. Four, oh no, sorry, six Torx bolts, these two, these four, straight out. Yeah, it's going to be dumbass tools again. Dumbass, stupid, poor man's method again because I can't find the socket to use with the Torx bit to put it on the ratchet to do this, so. Yeah, I'm at it again. So guys, here we go. So you can see the old one, a new one, well, a used one. Um, yeah, obviously we need a little bit of uh, grease in there. Yeah, see, even the bracket in there is rusty, which is really not ideal, is it? To be honest, I should have got that as well, um, but it's still solid. I'll just fire a load of fluid film over it just to stop the rust. So that's it loose, it basically just pushed it in that way over this part here. And then it's got to go to the back there. And then it'll come out through there and then you've got your four bolts. Yeah, quite simple really. And that's the outside one. They both have the same, the same action. So when I pull this, it'll, it frees this off and lets it open it's nice and functional now and if we lock the car there we go so we're nice and secure so guys here we go a fresh set of lock cylinders let's have a look two cylinders one for each front door it's kind of cool as well because we've got like a 740, 940 style key and then a, a 200 series style key, which I thought was pretty cool. But yeah, they look right anyway. I love how there's, there's even Volvo printed on them as well, which is a really nice touch. So yeah, from Scandix, I think it was like 40 something euros. So whatever that is, about $60 or so to get that. So that, that, I thought that was really good. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it fitted. Uh, hopefully it's quite simple. We've got the two Torx bits in there. Yeah, that's the back of the screw Just there and then yeah, once those two are out top and bottom that bracket should just slide off and then the, the lock should pop out Nice and easy Definitely shouldn't say that Just gonna put them somewhere where I'm gonna lose them Yeah, there was another piece there that goes in somehow. 
So that's on the other side of the door. central locking working so guys basically you've got this is your central locking ring and that's got to fit over the barrel that white piece now is being moved so you can see the the metal part the barrel part the tab turning and it's pushing that little white piece that sends the signal to the uh, to the central locking unit which controls the whole car then and locks all the doors or unlocks all the doors. There we go. One locking and unlocking bolt. So this here is loose as well. Not sure why. Bonnet's out of line as well. Bonnet's way off. So if we pull here ourselves manually, yeah. It's stuck. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's properly stuck. So guys, sorry, I hate it when YouTubers do this and then you miss out on the action, but I managed to get it open, um, pulled the wire out, and then just pushed the thing across. I can't show you guys, but. This here, that this is what the cable pulls on. It does that to release it. So I just did that by hand with this cable disconnected. So I want to try and line it up so that it goes where it wants and then I'll tighten it down afterwards. So I've sort of loosely adjusted it where it wants to be, making sure that this part sits square into the hole. So now that's shut. And then if we operate the catch. Yeah, it's a lot freer now. 